Hi, how y'all doing? This is the fourth part of human sexuality. <laughs> One of these topics you don't like to talk about, huh? But this is the fourth part. Parental discretion is advised. Don't send any tar and feathers, okay? Now, I read this article by this doctor, and he said, this is uh, some time ago, and he said, we are all girls. Everybody, every fetus in the world is a girl until all these chemical reactions take place at the cellular level. Chemical reactions. Um, if you have just enough testosterone, it will become a boy. If you have just enough estrogen, it will become a girl. And there are other chemicals involved. Um, in, the, in the development of a fetus, the clitoris becomes, if there's a male hormone, the clitoris becomes the penis, the ovaries become testes. The bone structure is different. Everything is different. Um, if possibly, if, if the baby starts out as female, but they are bathed with testosterone that baby will become a masculine female if the baby becomes a male through a chemical reaction and somehow estrogen gets on that or in that baby that baby might become a feminine male now xx is female right xy is male what happens when you have xx we have two xx so chromosomally and on the microcellular level, the person has XX, is female, but yet they have male physical features. They have men, they have male penis, etc., testicles, etc. What happens when that happens? Do you have a male? Or do you have female? No, what you have is a human being with an anomaly. At the cellular level is XX, but yet that person has male genitalia, male body structure. So you know what? You shouldn't be so judgmental about people because you really don't know what's going on in their body. You don't know what happened to them in the womb because the Bible says that the womb is a secret place. Okay, you don't know what's going on in the womb. And sometimes parents take all these hormones to get rid of a morning sickness or whatever. That affects the fetus. Sometimes the mother takes some chemicals for whatever reason. That affects the fetuses. You know, sometimes the mother eats uh, certain plants. Certain plants have estrogen. That can affect the fetus. So the bottom line is that you don't really know what's going on in a person's body. We are all girls until the chemical reaction take place. Girls rule. <laughs> no, seriously. Stuff happens. You know, chemical reactions take place. Some chemical reactions that should take place don't take place. And there are these anomalies. Now, part five is next. No tars and feathers. Have a nice day.